On this Thursday, the 20th of August, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate, page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God, he himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalmody this morning is Psalms 131 and 132, beginning on page 785. Psalms 131 and 132, beginning on page 785. O Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters or with things that are too hard for me. But I still my soul and make it quiet, like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is quieted within me. O Israel, wait upon the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured, how he swore an oath to the Lord and vowed a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor let my eyelids slumber, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The ark, we heard it was in Ephrathah, we found it in the fields of Jerim. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you in the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, he will not break it. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bless her provisions and satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will rejoice and sing. There will I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. As for his enemies, I will clothe them with shame, but as for him, his crown will shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When evening came, Jesus' disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea rose because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near to the boat. They were frightened, but he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they were glad to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at land to which they were going. On the next day, the people who remained on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. However, 
boat from Tiberias came near the place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the people saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him has God the Father set his seal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Te Deum on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the whole world, the Holy Church acclaims your name. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. The Prayers, beginning on page 97. <clears throat> the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Today we remember that we know of God's love through the sending and receiving of his greatest expression of love, Jesus Christ, our Lord. O God, by whose grace your servant Bernard of Clairvaux kindled with the flame of your love, became a burning and shining light in your church. Grant that we also may be aflame with the spirit of love and discipline and walk before you as children of light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We also give thanks today for those in monastic orders, for their insights into following Christ that they have explored and shared with us. O Lord Jesus Christ, you became poor for our sake, that we might be made rich through your poverty. Guide and sanctify, we pray, those whom you call to follow you under the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, that by their prayer and service they may enrich your church, and by their life and worship may glorify your name. For you reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And finally, we pray on this day, and we remember the humble servitude of Jesus Christ 
and we pray for that same Spirit in our lives. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you declare your glory and show forth your handiwork in the heavens and in the earth. Deliver us in our various occupations from the service of self alone, that we may do the work you give us to do in truth and beauty and for the common good. For the sake of him who came among us as one who serves, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.